<sighs> All right, another week, another teaching vlog. It's Monday. It's 4.52 p.m. Did I vlog at all today? No. Did I think about it? A little bit. But then the, my, then the thought quickly left my mind. Um, so what's so? Today, um, I honestly am dragging. I didn't sleep well, well last night and I did not wake up feeling very refreshed. So, get that out of the way. That set the tone. I'm, t I'm tired. I am tired. And then my coffee, my Keurig, my beautiful coffee machine, decided to stop working today. So, that happened. Luckily, we have a vending machine. I was able to get a Coke as my little afternoon pick-me-up, which is what I needed today. I usually just bring a little protein coffee with me, which I did. I just needed a little extra pick-me-up today. And so I had to get it in the form of a Coke, which is fine. It is what it is. Thank God I had that. <laughs> um, just cause like I knew I needed to do quite a few things after school today, I had, well, I had quite a few things on my list. Uh, did I get them all done? No. Did I get just enough done to get me by another day? You bet. So, yeah. That's where I am right now. I, I'm i basically, I, as much as I would love to be two weeks out, I am a day out. <laughs> um, that's where I am right now. I remember last year I was like planned for two weeks ahead of time. And this was like, I was on it on it on it um unfortunately i never got there this year before school <laughs> so i'm still trying to get there so i'm working on it i know i have a lot of ideas for wednesday thursday and friday i just don't have anything really solid written down um and i kind of had some idea kind of came up with a game plan and then i now am kind of rethinking it all so I'm not entirely sure. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing, um, just because I'm just I'm just trying to figure out. Because um, we're doing, because the way we're doing math this year is a, is different than what we've uh, than the way we've done it before. We're basically pulling in a lot more supplemental resources and teaching more based on standards not necessarily based on like how our math book is set up so we kind of so um, but I am still using the math book here and there kind of as a little bit of a guide for some of the information but um I think but ideally I want to do less math book less of the math book I uh, really want to get more hands-on stuff going with them as across the board so that's where I am right now. That's the big thing. It's just I just got to get, figure out math. And then, of course, always the first couple weeks of school. Because this is the first full week of school that we're, we started officially. Um, these first couple weeks, um, it's always the hardest. Because we don't really start our... We, we're not starting our regular curriculum yet. Although math, we kind of are. Um, even though we're not really using... We're using the curriculum as a resource. Not as, not as the guide. Um, but we are starting our math stuff this week but our ELA we haven't so we're not starting for another week or two here so it's just hard um, but I do have a lot of um, new things I am bringing in this year I've been really working on uh, I went to a PD the Thursday before school went out got um before just ugh, the Thursday before school uh, came back it was uh, Dr. Kate Casella which she's pretty, she's pretty known in the field, right? Um, she's one of the buzz one, buzzwords or whatever, right? Um, but, you know, I went to a PD with her on Thursday and um, the focus was ELD because it was through the ELD um, stuff because um, I used to be ELD last year. So I kind of got in on it because I still want to go to this thing because I didn't want to miss out. And I got some... Um, cool things to do um, kind of helping me establish routines and everything so um, I'm trying some new stuff with them and I think it's going okay um, 
you know, I don't think it's going horrible. So that's good. Um, so I'm filling in with that for sure. And then I have a few other things I'm starting. So, you know, I think it'll be, it'll be good. So I'm starting. So the, so basically long story short is this year I am reinventing the wheel on a lot of things. Um, but that's okay. Cause it's important as teachers to not get not fall into this constant like doing the same thing year after year it's good to change it up there is something to be said about have about using about you know planning you know not changing it you know something to be said about knowing what you're going to do and sticking with it not making a bunch of extra work for yourself but it's also important to change it up um, as necessary sorry i see a kid getting picked up i'm like is that one of my students i don't know I don't think it is. Anyway, distraction. Anyway, um, so that's that. So, yeah. <laughs> I rambled a lot. So, um, yeah. So let's just talk about what I did. Let's talk a little bit about what I did today. No, nah, let's not talk about what I did today. Um, because a lot of what I did today was the Kate Casella stuff. Um, and, oh gosh, I trying to get them on computers that's an adventure in and of itself that took me a long time but that's to be expected I just always forget how long it takes third graders to get on computers the first day of school but once they get used to it it's not so bad um so yeah a lot of this week is routines procedures getting to know you stuff and now we're getting into assessments too so um, today we did our star math assessment and our beginning of the year writing assessment and then tomorrow we're going to do star reading we're going to do our math pretest, like third grade pretest that we got um Uh, we're doing the ESI tomorrow, which is like a spelling inventory. That's what it is, elementary spelling inventory. Um, so we can figure out their spelling groups. That's going to be my three main focuses tomorrow. And I think I also have some uh, Dr. Casella. Um, I think I have another activity um, that I'm going to use from her stuff. I think that's my day tomorrow. We also have PE tomorrow, so that's something. Um, but yeah, now I need to go to Target because I need to get me a Keurig because coffee is important. All right, here it is Tuesday, uh, the 13th of August, 2024. Uh, it's 940 PM and I have not vlogged at all today, so I want to do a check-in. Eventually, I'll uh, do better with these vlogs, but here we are not. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, today, uh, oh gosh, today did not go as planned. I'm going to straight up say it. Um, just because, I mean, for one, um, things took longer than I anticipated, which happens often in the world of teaching. You plan to do X, Y, and Z, and you only get through X <laughs> sometimes. So, and there's sometimes that you have to, you know, there's sometimes you work through things faster than you anticipate. Sometimes you work through them slower. It happens. No big deal. Um, so, that was part of it. And then part of it is... Um, <sighs> My um, air conditioning in my classroom um, went out. Like, today was a PE day, so they have PE right before their lunchtime. And sometime during that PE time, my air, I, I think my air went out. Because next thing I knew, it was like, because they came. No, because next thing I knew, after lunch, or it was the end of lunch, and... Um, my room was like up to 84 
I actually got up to almost 90 in my room at one point. So luckily I was, luckily, so I, I mean, I had to just pivot some things. I ended up going in, um, one of my teammates, uh, I went into her room and we did some stuff. We did an activity together at the end of the day just because my room didn't have air. <laughs> so it was an adventure at the end of the day. Um, and then I didn't get a chance and I was going to still stay and like plan cause I'm doing like, I'm at this point I'm like day to day planning. Um, so I was still planning on doing like day to day planning, <laughs> meaning I, was, I needed to figure out what I was going to do tomorrow. Um, still, so I was going to sit down and get that done and maybe get some other stuff done. But I, but, um, we actually had a staff meeting after school too. Um, like, a, I think it was, I think it ended up being like 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, somewhere around there. Um, and then, um, I went to my room and I was going to hunker down and get started on some stuff. And then I'm like, it was still like 89 in there. I'm like, you know what? I can't, I can't do this. So I left, I came home. I did some, I did plan some stuff. I just have to make some copies tomorrow, which if I don't make those copies, like if they don't get done, I can I can just have the kids do the activity on the whiteboard. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. And I also have a plan in place if my air conditioner is not working. So I'll be able to. So everything is. Uh, so things should be able to work, work out. Um, whether my air conditioner is fixed or not, hopefully it'll be fixed, but. Uh, um, so, yeah, I just wanted to check in, um, and that's that, I just wanted to check in, uh, also I got a new Keurig, because my Keurig went out, I went to Target, I think I mentioned yesterday, I had to go to Target and get it, my new Keurig has a crack in it. So I have to take it back. So I ended up buying a Coke from the vending machine because I needed to pick me up. But tomorrow, knowing that I'm not going to be able to have my coffee and knowing how my week's been, like that I've been already uh, needing more caffeine, I'm going to pack a Dr. Pepper so that way I... I'm set. I'm just saying. That's all I... Also, I also just want to say, like, yesterday I went to the gym. Even though I was really tired, I didn't. I did not want to go. Um, luckily, <laughs> luckily, my wife uh, wanted to go. <laughs> she's like, oh, she's... I came home. She basically is like, let's go. So... We went, so she kind of, she's like, come on, I've been waiting for you. She's like, I've been waiting for you, let's go. So, which I don't ever, which it was fine. I don't ever regret a workout, but I was definitely done. Um, so yesterday I just did like a, um, yesterday was a, a cardio, I just made it into like a cardio days with a running focus. So I did a 20 minute run on the treadmill. Um, I might have a picture I can put in here if I, of like the stats. Um. Then I did a 15, so I did 20 minutes of a run, 15 minutes of a walk. The walk, I actually had it programmed to do some rolling uh, hills, I believe, or some sort of incline. Yeah, I think it's rolling hills. I think that was the setting. Um, so I had that just at an easy level just to cool down after the run. And then I went on the elliptical for like uh, 10 minutes, I think. And then I was done. Like, I got to that point. I'm like, you know, I, am, I was like dead. And after that, we ended up going to Target. I was going to get Starbucks, but Starbucks was closed by the time we got to car Target. So, whatever. And then today, I actually got a workout in, too. I went for a uh, 25, actually, I think it was like 26 and something minute run. Um, um, so, I went for, but, um, so, I went for a run um, just around the neighborhood. And I came home, and I did a little quick, like, 15, 20 minute lifting session. It was just a shoulder day. Um, 
which that was through Trainwell. Um, so my Trainwell workouts, I don't know if I've talked about Trainwell, because I know I've talked about them, about Trainwell, but I don't know how much of my videos I actually decided to edit and put up. But I um, had my coach kind of adjust my workouts a little bit, because with school, with the, with school starting back up and stuff, um, it was it's harder for me to get workout my workouts in, so I had her shorten them up a little bit, and then I had her I had her just shorten them up a little bit. I'm like I need thirty minutes strength training focus, and then um, she, I had her switch one of the days. Which in hindsight I'm not sure why I had her do that, but um, but I have. I kind of have a plan in my head of what I want to do. Um, like, my le like I know I want to do leg days, like, on Fridays, and I want to do, like, my full leg day workout. Um, that's, like, a 45-minute to an hour workout. So I know I want to do that. I know I either want to... I know I want to do that Fridays. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's my idea. Um, I'm going to do upper bodies my upper body stuff the other days. So like yes I mean yesterday was cardio, but I did do my I did do my shoulder workout today. So tomorrow if I go to the gym, it's scheduled as lower body day, but I think I'm gonna do something else if I go to the gym tomorrow. Um maybe like if I go to the gym tomorrow, I might have it be like an ab day because I haven't really worked my abs a whole lot so um recently. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow. So I'm kind of using Trainwell as a tool. For so this is the room that I'm teaching in today. <laughs> it actually is working. It's actually going okay. It's uh, the projector doesn't work in this room. Forgot about that. So I've had to adjust a little bit, but I'm gonna do some math games and stuff. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be horrible. So they brought their supply bins for my room, the computers and stuff for my room. So we're all working on the floor here and hopefully tomorrow I'll be back in my classroom. If not, by the next day at the very latest. I know they're working on it. I'll talk about the math games and stuff later. All right, and now it's 4.04. This is the earliest I've left the school all week. Um, but I have to go home and plan because my room, as I mentioned, does not have air conditioning right now. So hopefully by tomorrow it'll get fixed. If not, then <laughs> it'll be an adventure again. So now that I know that I don't have a projector in the room I'm using, I will know now not to plan anything for the projector, which is fine. Um, I think I have a Bluetooth speaker coming in today. Um, so if I have that, then at least I can play some um, audio clips for them. If I don't have that, then I don't have that. <laughs> then it is what it is. So I gotta plan my day out tomorrow. Luckily it's early out, so I don't have to plan as much. Um, Cause kids get out at 1.30 as opposed to 2.45. So that's an hour and 15 minutes. I don't have to worry about in the afternoon. So that'll be good. Um, but yeah, today was an interesting day. Um, I know I said I was gonna talk to you about the math game. Um, and I wish I was able to, I wish I had enough sense to sh like get my camera out and just show you, but I, did, I don't have the stuff now. I'm, I'm in my car now. Um, but basically, um, students got dice and they rolled the dice. Um, and so, the way I did it was a little funky. I realized after I kind of told them the instructions that I should have done it a little differently. So I'm gonna tell you how I did it and then what I should have done instead. Um, so I gave them three dice to start with and I said, roll the dice and then kind of put them and however they land, the order that they land, kind of line them up and put 100 cents ones and put that number down. It worked out okay, but in hindsight, I should have just given them one die and said, okay, roll it three times. First time is 100, first time is 10, first, uh, sorry, first time is 100, second time is 10, third time is 1s. Um, but basically they came up with numbers. I started with 100 cents and 1s and they compared them greater than, less than, or equal to. So they rolled them 
and then they rolled them again to come up with two numbers. They worked in partners on it. Um, and then once they had hit 10, they got a little, um, one of our school-wide economy books. Um, they got one of those for finishing 10, and if they were correct, if they got them incorrect, I said, okay, you missed one, and they had to go figure out which one they missed. It got them thinking, and they were doing really good with it. I was very happy with it. Um, once they got past the 100 cents once, um, I had them, so once they got past three digits, like did it around with three digits, I had them do around with four digits, and then I, if they finished four digits, I let them do th whatever they want, uh, one, two, or th one, two, three, or four digit numbers. Um, so that worked out well. Um, and then they just did it on their whiteboards. There was, I do have a recording sheet that I could have made copies of, but I, I didn't get to the copier since today's been, anything, anytime my routine is thrown off, my days just get, my, I'm everywhere. So like not being in my classroom and having to make sure certain things were in the other room, my brain was just everywhere. So I didn't get to make copies today. Um, so that was fine. I mean, we also had a music assembly. So it was, the high school came and um, their band, choir, dance, um, and theater department, actually, drama, whatever, theater. I think they called it theater. Same thing, basically. Um, they performed for um, third, fourth, and fifth grade. So that was cool. That was right before our lunch. So that took, so at least I had a half an hour. Um, of my day I didn't have to worry about figuring it out <laughs> so um, definitely today did not go as planned but it's all right I really like the math game I did um, oh we also did a math coloring sheet so it was like some addition problems addition and subtraction problems and then they colored it it's a good little review thing they did really good on it so so far everything I've been having my kids do um, as far as like review type stuff, they've been doing good on um, the assessment type stuff, mm, but you know, we'll get there, we'll get there. Um, so I gotta work on assessments. Um, so I'm hoping tomorrow I'll be able to get that going. It's gonna be, it's just hard because it's just hard because you saw this, you saw the room I'm working with right now. Um, there's a lot of furniture stacked up. I could, I guess, unstack the desks if I wanted to and like unstack things and have them set up more like a room but I really don't want to do that especially since this is not a permanent thing you know hopefully one day one more day if that um, I won't have to worry about it if not we'll make do it's fine um, I just gotta get the, I've got to get them on their computers and get I, I and part and the reason they weren't able to get because we have reflex reflex math and I wanted to get them on that today but I need to go put my kids in because I forgot to do that. So that's on my to-do list. I just have a lot. This is those types of things that I just need to make sure I'm doing because I am putting it off and I need to, I just need to do it. So hopefully tomorrow, I know tomorrow's early out so I'm going to be meeting with one of my teammates um, just to go over because I'm uh, I mentioned that I that I used to do I used to be our ELD lead. Now I stepped down from that, so I have someone else who's doing it. So I just gotta go over some ELD stuff with her, kind of let her know what I do did when I did it, um, and then um, we do our we do restorative circles, and she wanted me and um, she wanted me to go over some stuff. some stuff with her for that just because um, I have some stuff that she is interested in so I'm hoping that won't take too long but I don't know I also have to talk to my principal it's my secretary tomorrow about some stuff but, uh, during our early out because I don't want to go there during recess or lunch because it's too rushed it's just too rushed for me to go down there and try and meet with them at that time Anyway, I'm going to go home and plan and figure out what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, 
I might do another math game tomorrow. I might do it with um, the same idea except with cards, with a deck of cards. Um, just to kind of keep it simple. Um, but also have it be a little different. I also brought my Dr. Pepper today and I drank it at lunch. Instead of saving until after school, but let's be real. I'd rather have it at lunch and after school because it gives me a little midday pick-me-up. Which is fine. That was the short amount of time I spent in my actual classroom today. It's just, this week, this week's going to be a crazy week. And on Friday we have our um, Williams people, which, uh, coming, which that just means that we have to, their they just come and check, um, our curriculum and facilities basically so we're kind of everyone's kind of running around like a bunch of crazy people getting ready for that making sure we're all good uh, which I'm good so I think I'm good on everything so um, and I just remember I got a bunch of extra books delivered to my room today and I forgot to put them away before I left not that any of my books are really put away, <laughs> but whatever. I can deal with that tomorrow or whatever. It's just, um, cause, uh, <laughs> we're like bursting at the seams right now with these kids. Um, we, right now, um, and so in third grade, uh, we're not supposed to have more than 24 kids in our classes. And right now we're all at 26 or 27 and admin, um, basically has us keeping two or three extra sets of books because there's a bunch of kids um, going through the enrollment process at the district office. So, yay. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's all good. It is what it is. Um, luckily, my class is, has not been too bad. Um, behavior wise like my, I, my kids are doing pretty good so I'm, so overall like um, yeah having a few extra kids in the room is you know it, it's just more kids but let's be real upper grades have 30 33 kids or whatever and their cap I think is at 33 or 32 maybe 30. I don't know. I don't know what the upper grade cap is. I've never taught upper grade, so I don't really pay attention to their cap. Um, but um, they have a higher cap, so it's like, why am I complaining about having basically as much as an upper grade class? <laughs> but still, it's just, I don't know. It's just different. Anyway. Bye. All right, guys. I want to check in because why not? Um, because this sort of vlog is more is like uh, I know I want to try and focus on like the teaching stuff, but I am also including like my everything. So my teaching vlog that has a whole lot of other stuff. Anyways, um, so yeah, I did go. So today I did go to the gym. I did an uh, I just did some I did some cardio and I did some abs. Um, um so it was pretty simple. I did the dishes which were very much needed. I am uh if I had if I was more motiv if I was motivated, I'd probably unload the dishwasher cuz it just finished. That's what you were hearing and reload it, but it's almost 10 o'clock at night and I ain't about that life right now. Um, so yeah, I did get my lesson planning done. Um, I basically just, a lot of the stuff I just ended up pushing from today that I didn't get, I didn't get to, cause I didn't get to things today, a lot of things today just cause it was a weird day. Tomorrow I'm anticipating it being a weird day too. So, um, I just kind of pushed some things over um, I'm gonna make it work. 
Um, and now I'm just winding down for the night. So. <sighs> Blah. All right. It's Thursday. And what a day it has been. Totally not driving while I'm vlogging. My air conditioner in my class is still not working. We did tough it up, tough it out in the morning. It was a little cooler this morning too, which was good. We did tough it out for a little bit, but probably about 10 minutes before recess. Um, I mean, it was getting too hot, I can tell, and then the kids were already starting to say it was really hot in there. So after recess, uh, we went and finished the day out in the other room that has air conditioning. You know, we're making it work. It's just a lot. So yeah, it was early out, so I did have a team meeting where we kinda, um, I want, I need to go over some stuff with uh, one of my teammates and then, so it just, I ended up going over it with, it's just, we ended up just all meeting together, which is fine. And then we went into some, we started doing some planning stuff for, next week although did I get anything written down for next week no it's very hard for me to uh, it's just very hard for me to do that I don't when I'm meeting with them I don't know why because they're I think they just move along really fast and I'm just like wait what so it's okay though it works and then uh, our principal ended up coming in we were, we had asked if she could come into our PLC tomorrow because we just wanted to talk to her about some of our data and stuff. Um, and she popped in today, so we were talking with her for a while. Needless to say, even though in theory I should have everything planned out and ready, I don't. I'm not there yet. I have to figure out what I'm doing tomorrow because I, tomorrow's just going to be a messy day. We have the Bill Williams people coming tomorrow to check some stuff. So I have to, so you know, making sure everything's ready in there. And then not being in my room for the last couple days has really messed that up. And making my kids know, sure, making my making sure my kids know where everything is in my room. I mean, it's, the school's only been in. This is the first full week of school. So, as far as making sure that uh, my kids know where everything is, it's hard because it's still better the first week of school and we're still getting stuff going. It's, we're still trying to get things on track in my room and, you know, in, in my room and then it's just trying to keep everything on track and then, like I said, I can't just randomly, like, practice it because we're not in my room. So... I don't know. It's hard. But it's okay. Um, it'll all work out. Hopefully tomorrow my hopefully my air conditioning is pick, is fixed tomorrow, but who knows? I mean, I know my principal and my secretary have been working on trying to get that fixed. And of course my lesson plans that I did yesterday didn't save. So I went to print them up this morning, and they weren't there. So that was fun. But luckily today's lesson plans were pretty simple, so I was able to kind of wing it. And, you know, I was able to kind of wing it, and because and, and it, it, was, it worked out, it was fine. It just wasn't ideal. But I did get my kids on their reflex today, which is good. That took a little bit. I felt like things just took longer today. I, mean, I've, I don't feel like I was on my A game, so whatever. Um, you know, we all have those days, so you know, what are you going to do, right? Anyway, um, but yeah, I mean, I got my kids on Reflex finally, which is good. That was a big to-do. And of course, my computer was, the website Reflex was lagging, so... I was trying to get them set up on that, and it was taking forever, which got a little muddled. And then our um, Go Guardian, which is our 
like like our browser where we it's this it's the program we use the website we use um, to monitor our students um, what they're doing on their computers that was having some issues today so I wasn't even able to really monitor them as thoroughly as I would have liked and then I and then I wanted to do some makeup tests with them so I had to work on that and then we were working so we were working on that and then we did some math we did do a new math game which I'm gonna give them time for that tomorrow so and then one of our assessments are like it's dibbles which is like a reading assessment um, we use it to make our RTI groups um, that's been down that hasn't gotten up so we haven't been able to utilize that yet so this has been a lot of hiccups and so I just gotta get stuff done and I just realized I need to grade my spelling assessment get that inputted into the computer and I don't have those with me so I would I think so what I want to do when I want to try until I get my feet until I get my feet flat on the floor because right now I feel like I'm on riding the struggle bus right now I, I don't know why you know there's really no reason I'm not really like I feel like I'm in a better place than I was last year it's just I feel I think my routine is just thrown off. Um, so anytime my routine, and I may have talked about this, but anytime in other vlogs, but anytime that my routine is thrown off, it's really hard. It, it's really, it's hard on me. This is hard on me. I need routine, but it's hard for me to establish the routines. So whenever, so I have like, you know, my routine with, you know, in my classroom, being in my classroom and stuff, I know where everything is and everything, and not being in my room for most of the day, it really throws me off. And I noticed that like this morning when we were toughing it out in my room, I was a little bit more at ease. Although, for some reason, I was still all over the place, but that was whatever. As soon as I went to the other room, it was a little bit more thrown off. And part of it is, like, I don't have certain things that I need. I mean, luckily, I had a little bit more forethought. And, but it's... <sighs> riding the struggle bus these days. On another note, I think tonight... Let's see, I think I want to do one more run this week, maybe, I might want to do one more run this week, or, I think it's only one more run, um, that I have to get done, so, um, as far as, like, workouts go, I was thinking about maybe, I thought about maybe doing a run later today, I guess we'll see, um, I might just take it as an off day, because I've gone, to, I've done a workout every day except for today and I know I'm going to be doing leg day tomorrow. On another note like I really cannot sit still like I've been like moving around <laughs> I was rolling around on a chair the whole time during my when my principal was on it was I'm like wee wee and I was like whoa what am I doing alright guys and here we are Friday <laughs> um it's the end of the day, and it's quarter to five, and I gotta get out of here because I gotta get to the gym tonight. But it's Friday. Um, kids aren't bad. Kids have been doing good. I had a lot absent today, actually, so there's that. Um, I just have a ton of stuff to do, so. Um, I have a spelling or a spelling assessment that I got to input. Um, we actually use a website um, where we just input our spelling stuff, our spelling um, assessment stuff, and 
Um, it grades it and puts them into spelling groups automatically for us. Um, we use words their way, so it's all part of that. Um, so I just got to put all mine in. I just did one because it's this because it's a new thing this year. We haven't we hadn't done it so uh, before this year. So now we're doing it this year, and so um, I just did a, like I just did one real quick just to try it out and see um let's we'll try it out and to make sure i knew what to do um so there's that and then let me show you what else i have to deal with um in addition to that we have we got we sent a bunch of stuff to repro um at the end of last year and we got boxes on boxes on boxes of stuff uh, when we came back so basically this year we're just we're kind of um doing we're trying a lot of, we're kind of restructuring a lot of things we're doing and so we got a lot of materials because of that a lot of new materials so these are just some laminated task cards that we sent to repro um and i just have to take them home and cut them i have a paper cutter at home i just have to make that my task this weekend so we can get that figured out and then I need to start organizing those, which I'll probably just put them in baggies. So that's my bit. Those are my two big things this weekend. Other things on my to do list that I'm not dealing with this weekend because I just can't. <laughs> I just can't. I can't. Um, I have to actually fun. I actually did give an addition and subtraction assessment and multiplication assessment. Um, so if they pass the addition and subtraction one, they move up to multiplication, which I had quite a few move up. Um, so I did grade those because they were quick and easy. So I gave it today. I graded it today. Yay me. One less thing for me to deal with down the line. I do still have their writing assessment and their math assessment um, that I have to grade. I think those are the only two things um, that I have to grade still. So... That's going to be on my list for next week at some point. Um, and I still I haven't lesson planned. I have to still lesson plan for Monday because I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'll do that um, this weekend. So I have quite some work to do this weekend. I might hunker down tonight. I think I'm going to treat myself to some coffee. I haven't decided where I'm going to go. I don't know if I'm going to go to Starbucks or... I'm thinking either Starbucks or Six Beans. Um, I do like Six Beans. Um, it's kind of a local coffee chain where I am. Um, I like Six Beans. That's my favorite. That's my favorite coffee place. And that part of the reason I like it is because that's one of the only, it's probably the only coffee place that I like that has like a sugar-free coffee that I enjoy. So it makes me feel a little less like, guilty <laughs> i don't know but i still treat myself anyways um so i'll either go to six beans or starbucks one of the two i don't know um and then i guess i might then i might just you know i'll go to so i'll go i'm gonna go home i might stop for coffee on my way home i might just go straight home then i'll hit the gym and then I think coffee is in my future just for just because, you know, treat yourself. It's Friday, right? Um, and then maybe I'll hunker down at some point tonight. If not tonight, then maybe tomorrow I'll get going on these task cards. Um, I have my paper cutter and stuff. So <laughs> there are some people on my team that are paying <laughs> um, people to do it, which, you know, is something to be... Um, you know, it's a it's a teenager. You know, one of the it's it's a teenager that you know, giving the teenager, giving the throwing the teenager a bone, having you know, giving him a little bit of money to you know, do something like do something like this that they want to do. Good props to them. I like. I'm like, <laughs> I need. I'm like, I'm too cheap for that. So I'm not about to do that. <laughs> um, so I'll just suffer through it. I can pawn it off on my parents if I really wanted to, but I kind of need these, I think. <laughs> um, so 
that's my plan for today. It's just go home. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave here. It's almost five. By the time I'm done talking to you guys, it'll be close to five by the time I actually get into my car and leave. And then I'm gonna go to the gym and then coffee and then maybe some work. Maybe just relax. Uh we do have I have to um make dinner too. So um, I did want to show you a couple things for my classroom that I got. Ooh, shocking experience. So first off, I got this Bluetooth speaker. I have it hooked into my computer to charge. I'm hoping that it will charge. Um, but I actually, um, hooked it up to my computer, Bluetooth through my computer, and I actually kept it over there by my smart board. And honestly, I just used it today to add some fun little music, just for fun. Um, I wanna start playing music for them as they come in in the morning. Um, just kinda, of, just something for a little fun. And this group I think can handle it, so I'm gonna do that. The other thing, oh, I should turn my air on. No, the air conditioning saga is happening, no. Why? That's the world say world, that's the air conditioner's way of saying you gotta go. Huh. Oh, it turned on finally. <laughs> I don't know why I turned it on. I'm about to leave, but whatever. I'll turn it off. Anyway. Um so I don't think so I haven't shown you this because I literally just set this up today. So never mind my air conditioner that I just decided to randomly kick on it got fixed there's an upside so I want to show you my rings of fate which I love um, so I just was talking about how I got this thing from Dave and Buster's which I was gonna use it so I decided is to try is to use it as like an ins I did want to use it as an incentive thing so I went ahead and um, this is our school-wide currency that we use so they have to pay one of those bucks for um, one toss over here at the Ring of Fate and so one of these bucks is worth two dojo points so they could potentially so if they miss they don't get any points but they could get one point back two points all the way up to 13 points so it's kind of like it's a game of luck and uh, they enjoyed it they really did um, and then that's just my list of dojo incentives that I have for this year so far I did make a little bit of it. I did make a couple edits from last year, but this is overall what I have. Um, I don't think I ever showed that, so I want to show it real quick. Other than that, um, I think that's a good place to stop this vlog um, because I want to try and keep because um, because this is a teaching focused vlog. I wanted to just do a Monday through Friday deal. Um, if I do any work on the weekend, I'll either fill you in on Monday when I start vlog my next vlog, or I'll just start my next vlog on on the weekend. Um, but um, teaching vlogs, I like to do Monday through Friday usually. So um, yeah, I close it out. I just look at all my stuff. I I have so much stuff I have to do, but I. I need to go because like I said I have to I have to go hit the gym tonight so all right so like so if you enjoyed the video like give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below tell me how your school year's going or how your life's going if you're not if you're not a school person whatever um, subscribe um, I'm gonna try and do more teaching vlogs this year I want to try and bring these back um, I was actually rewatching my old teaching vlogs from a few years ago um, it's been a while, like three years, I think, since I've actually done these regularly. Um, I was on, no, four years maybe, because I think I was online teaching uh, when I was doing it, which was interesting, but they were also boring in a way. But now that I'm back in my classroom, I want to try and get back into the groove and uh, actually show you what I'm doing around here. Um, and hopefully, starting next week, I'll actually vlog more in my classroom and not just give you rec recaps, so... Um, but yeah, that's what, so I'll be trying, I'm going to try and, like I said, I'm going to try and post these about once a week. So like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Turn on your notifications and you'll get, a, you'll get notified. Bye.